Oh hi guys, how's it going? Today we're looking at the Jar Cannon. Now, on its own, it's pretty meh. But you can actually boost the damage on this by quite a lot, with just a few little tricks which I want to show you today. I know it looks stupid, and that's because it is stupid. I don't think you could probably finish the game on this. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, comment below if you have completed the game with just a Jar Cannon. In fact, get this video to 269 likes and I'll go try and complete the game with a Jar Cannon. I'm that confident it's not going to happen, so it's all good. I do like this build because it is meme as fuck, which just suits me down to the ground. Um, I think you could early game do really well with this. Maybe if you dropped it and duplicated it and gave it to like a lower level character, they could have some fun with it. Um, you do need some high strength though to wield it, and you need the lightning bolts, which you have to get from a particular merchant. If you are still interested though, stick around, I'll show you my exact setup and where you can get this gem of a weapon. Okay, so the trick to this build is to wear nothing. And the reason for that is because we have the blue dancer charm on. Every other charm in here, you basically want it to buff your damage in some way or form. So I've got the arrow stings talisman, which will buff up bolts. I also have arrows reach, just to give me that extra range. And because I'm a weakling, I had to raise my strength. There are other talismans out there that you can put on which would actually raise your damage such as the one that when you have low health your damage goes up i just haven't discovered them yet in terms of the actual jar cannon it will not scale off your strength so you have to just level it up using stones um, i've got my one to level seven and as you can see it's up to 528 damage now bear in mind the damage from your bolt will add on to this damage so as it stands, it does 150 lightning damage, which means this will then have an additional 150 lightning damage. Also note, if you actually hit someone in the head, that will also do more damage. Headshots count for more. On a side note as well, you can increase your damage with your Wondrous Physique mix. So in my one, I have Lightning Shrouding Cracked Tear, and this will basically boost my lightning damage. So to actually get this weapon, you have to go to Volcano Cave, which is all the way up here. It's basically along the mountain path, so the first um, grace point to travel to would be the Mount Gelmir campsite. And you just want to work your way up until you actually reach the cave. And I've got footage in the background to show you the ladders to take and which direction to go. But once you're in the actual cave itself, you just have to kill the boss at the end and they'll drop the jar cannon. I won't give you too much spoilers as to what's in the cave, it's pretty straightforward. As long as you've got a Mimic too, you should be okay. But if there is anything else you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Obviously, leave a like if you like the video, maybe sub if you want more guides. And uh, better still, just have a nice day, enjoy yourself, and um, yeah, catch you on the next one. Bye. Oh hi, Doggo here. Did you know that we now have channel membership? Sign up today. In return I will give you emojis. As a member you can also get special access to the Discord, where you are allowed to speak in the I Paid To Be Here channel. If you don't sign up, I'll find your nan and spit on her. Doggo out.